is Abhinash Agarwal and today I am going to talk you to you about RRBJ. As you know that the notification for RRBJ is already out and the examination which is going to be conducted in two stages wherein stage 1 would be conducted in the month of April and May. More than 13,000 vacancies have been declared. So in this short video we will talk about two aspects. One is about the exam pattern, sections, the changes, the new things which have come in and the second thing which is more important we are going to talk about how is that you should prepare for RRBJ, RRBJ, J? What should be the exam strategy section wise and stages wise? So first of all about the exam pattern, the examination is going to be CBT which is a computer based test. It is going to be conducted in two stages. In stage one, you would have 100 questions to be attempted in 90 minutes divided among four sections of maths, reasoning, general awareness and general sciences. General sciences means physics, chemistry and biology. In stage 2, you have 150 questions to be attempted in 120 minutes, divided among 5 sections, general awareness, physics and chemistry, basics of computers, environment and pollution, and the technical ability. So now here one thing which is very important to be noted is that technical ability is the section which is going to differentiate between success and failure. Out of 150 questions in stage 2, 100 questions are going to be of the technical ability. So this is one big change which has come in RRVJ this year. Unlike last year, wherein all these streams had a single paper, this year all different streams would have different technical ability paper. So that means if you are preparing, if you are civil engineer, there would be a, sex, there, there would be a separate section for civil engineering. If you are a mechanical engineer, there is going to be a separate section for mechanical engineering. Now the implications would be that Unlike last year, you were, or like in the last year or in the previous years, you were supposed to have a general idea about all the different streams. Now here, we are not, in this year, we are not talking about the general idea. You need to know your stream in depth. That means what I'm trying to say is that the level of difficulty in the technical ability section this year is expected to be much more tougher than in previous year. One third negative marketing, marketing, one third negative marking is going to be there. And like the gate examination, virtual calculator would be there on the stage two examinations. So this is all about the examination pattern. I'm sure you can find a lot of information about the examination pattern. Now let's, let's move on to the more important thing about the exam strategy. As I said that the stage one is going to be held in the month of April and May. In this, in the next few minutes, we will talk about these exam strategies. Now, as all of you know that the RRBJ is going to be CBT, that means a computer based test. Now, please remember, please remember my friends that the experience of giving a computer based test is totally different from giving a paper and pencil test. So it is highly recommended and highly advised that all the aspirants should give as many online tests as possible so as to get that experience of what a computer based test looks like. The second thing which we have to understand and as I have already mentioned is that in stage 2 the technical ability section is going to be the key differentiator. It is going to have out of 150 questions in stage 2, 100 questions are going to be from technical ability. So we need to study for that section right from beginning, right from today. We cannot postpone that once I will create stage 1 then I will start preparing for stage 2. You would not have. According to my information, you would have around 4 to 5 weeks between stage 1 and stage 2. So it is seriously recommended to all the aspirants that they should start preparing for the technical section right from today. Do not postpone it that I'll start doing it after stage one is clear. Another thing is that I just heard, I, I was just speaking to some of the aspirants and they were saying that they are just, they are taking stage one casually and they just, and they just aim to get around 50% marks in stage one. My dear friends, this is an examination which would be given by all the engineers. Engineers are very good in maths, reasoning and science. I expect that the cutoff for stage one to be at least 70 to 80 percent, 70 to 80 percent of marks. So I would advise you not to take stage one casually because I expect a high cutoff, and I would say that anything between 75 to 80 marks is that what you should, what you should really aim for. Now coming specifically about the section wise for maths and reasoning, you you should prepare general maths for general awareness. Keep track of news, keep track, so keep, keep track of what's happening around, get hold of good general knowledge books. Disha publication has also published a lot of books on general knowledge. For general studies, physics, chemistry and biology, do not study anything else other than 9th and 10th physics, chemistry and biology NCRT books. As again coming back that stage 1 is going to be a test of your speed. Stage 1 is going to be a test of your practice. Whereas stage two is going to be a test of your technical knowledge, how deeply you understand. So the, this is the difference between stage one and stage two. 
Another very important thing is that how do you plan? How should you plan from now and from the examination date? Now, this is one area which I would like to highlight is that what I would advise all the aspirants is that you should distinctly divide the time between now and the examination date between three distinct phases. Phase one is learning phase, wherein the focus is on learning or acquiring knowledge. Phase two is consolidation phase, wherein the focus is on consolidating whatever you, you have learned in the learning phase. And phase three is rapid review phase, wherein the focus is on mental preparation and exam taking strategies and all these things. If if you have around 80 to 90 days, I would advise you to spend around 60 to 70 days on phase one, 10 to 15 days on phase two, and five to 10 days on phase three. In phase two, which is consolidation phase, and phase three, which is rapid review phase, the focus should be on producing more and more output by giving more and more tests, deeply analyzing each and every test, and trying to get an answer as what is that you should do so as to take your score to the next level. As in every objective examination, there are two things which are very important. One is the speed and the second is the strike rate. Speed is the rate at which you solve a question and strike rate is your accuracy rate. Now, since there is one third of negative marking, so strike rate is extremely important or in fact, I would say strike rate is more important than speed because when you do a question wrong, you not only lose time, you also get one third of negative marking. So apart from speed, you, there should be a perfect balance between speed and strike rate. What we recommend for RRBJE that you should be able to attend around 80 to 85 percent of the paper with around 85 percent of the accuracy rate and this will give you a seat in RRBJE. Thank you guys and best of luck.